Lawmakers have passed a law that allows high school students to bring a gun on the campus of the high school. Yep, they passed it. Okay, it's a bill that they passed. Let me give you the background. Put up the guy who is the chief sponsor for the bill. Let's put his picture up, all right? Republican Representative Shay Sortwell, a Wisconsin Republican, him along with his cronies just passed a gun rights measure that includes making the state's concealed carry age requirement drop from 21 to 18, effectively allowing high school students to carry firearms on school grounds. I know you're wondering, wait a minute, doc. There has to at least be a rule, a prohibition against carrying the weapon on school property. It's already bad enough they're going to now lower the age based on the sentiment of these Republicans. But have they not carved out a caveat to stop it from happening on a school campus? No, they did not. Intentionally so, let me give you the background. The decision was approved by the state assembly last Thursday as part of an ongoing second amendment push to lower the chamber's GOP majority, okay? It's called age of majority. We've talked about this on the show before. The constitution talks about age of majority, but it leaves that to be interpreted by the state. That's how most people interpret the rule. If you're old enough to fight for your country, this is what the Republicans are saying. If you're old enough to fight for your country, if you're old enough to sign contracts, which by the way, you can be a child to sign contracts, that's anyway. If you're old enough to sign contracts, if you're old enough to decide who the president of the United States is, we think you're old enough to be responsible with your rights and to be able to protect yourself. According to, let's put this picture up again, Representative Shay Sortwell of Gibson. He's the chief sponsor of the bill. Now, let's go to this reality that for the most part, guns are banned on school property, right? Yeah, rightfully so. Guns are typically banned on school property in Wisconsin. But according to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, one of the measures would do away with this convention. The bills would also allow Wisconsinites with concealed carry licenses to bring firearms into churches, as well as permit out of staters with a concealed carry license to bring guns into the state. That's according to the AP Associated Press. Wisconsin Democrats, they got something to say about it. For their part, they have railed against this ridiculous legislative package amid the national uptick in gun violence. The Milwaukee Homicide Review Commission recorded a total of 857 non fatal shootings in 2021. That's about 93% more than they had in 2019, damn near 100% increase. Guns do not belong anywhere in or near schools, said Democrat Representative Deb Andraka. Collectively, these bills, what these bills would do, they would allow high school seniors to carry a loaded gun in the car to school grounds and at school events. I want you to just ponder on that for a minute. This is not some Lone Ranger Republican who sponsored a bill that had no chance of passing their chamber. This actually got past a Republican majority. There's a saving grace here, but it may not last long. What's the saving grace? Um, if the state Senate approves, the package will still need to be signed by the Wisconsin governor, Tony Evers, who is a Democrat and unlikely to approve it. All right, the governor is likely to veto, even though there's no statement on the record. But we are just hoping that he has more common sense than his Republican lawmakers. Don't think that because of the possibility of a of a uh, um, governor vetoing the bill that is not problematic. It is still problematic because what we have seen through legislative efforts is that typically there's one state that's a testing ground and then other states start doing the exact same thing. This is problematic beyond Wisconsin and beyond this moment.
All right, attorney at law, what are your thoughts here? I think you're absolutely right in terms of it being problematic. The fact is that these individuals, even if they are 18, they are still children, yeah. uh, particularly when it comes to mental, psychological, and the thought that they should have these uh, essentially deadly weapons on their persons when they're supposed to be in an educational environment. That is very, very much uh, an astonishing, uh, impractical, and dangerous thing. Who is going to be able to focus on their schoolwork, their classwork, when someone next to them has a firearm on their person? What what is the purpose in that? And it just really shows you how many individuals who are supposed to be in lawmaking positions are truly benefiting from groups like the NRA yeah. and other organizations where they're just getting paid and they have blood on their hands and they're bathing in it and are completely okay with that. And it's so incredibly unfortunate, but I really think that if this is any indicia of American society, we are essentially going to be the death of ourselves. It's an insane proposition to say, you know, we want to add to the confusion of being in high school, uh, the arguments and fights and debates that happen in high school, uh, the uh, chaos in high school. We want to add a gun to that. We want to add a gun to that scenario. It's ridiculous. And here's what's interesting about their law. You know, the place you cannot carry a firearm is in their building. Wisconsin lawmakers <laughs> will not let you carry a firearm inside of their building. Okay, but you can carry it, uh, carry it on the school campus, according to the bill that was passed.